Hi guys, this is Vineet and I welcome you to this video. Today's video topic is how to enable and configure file streams in SQL Server. And this will be a demo session. Before we proceed ahead guys, I would request you all to please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. There is a subscribe button below this video. Click on that subscribe button. It will give you a bell icon. Click on that bell icon. Select all notifications to get notifications regarding all my future videos. So I'm waiting for five seconds. Please go ahead and subscribe guys. All right guys. So I hope you have subscribed by now. So let's move ahead. There are some points to remember while watching this video. Please watch this video till the end to gain better clarity of the concept and if it's possible for you, please watch this video twice or as many times as you like until the concept gets clear to you. Perform any exercises in your test and lab environments only. Do not touch any production environment or production databases. We would like to know your thoughts regarding our videos, so please uh, share your comments, suggestions, reviews, feedbacks, requirements, any questions, any day-to-day -day experiences with SQL Server. You may also let us know about the situation where my content has helped you somewhere in some way. Do share your stories with us, guys. We eagerly wait for your comments and would love to read the same. We have created some playlists for you to watch, guys. Uh, some of the playlists related to SQL Server are, are database design, tables, business continuity, indexing, performance tuning, integration services, and transact SQL. This video belongs to the database design category and uh, this playlist has more than 78 videos at present and the reason why we create playlists for you is uh, because we feel that playlists are best way to learn so for example if you want to learn about database design area what we would recommend is go to the sql server database design playlist and watch out all the videos from starting till the end to get better grasp on the database design area and uh, links for all these playlists and my channel page link as well as the link for the Python playlist is also available in the video description area of this video. So please check out the video description area. There you will find all the links. And if we talk about the total number of videos uh, present in our channel, uh, we have posted more than 230 videos on our channel and the number of videos are growing at a constant pace. So let's come back to today's topic, which is how you can enable and configure uh, file streams in SQL Server. So let me take you directly to SQL Server and we will cover a demo over here. So before we can start to use file streams, we must enable file streams on the instance of the SQL Server database engine. And in this demo, we will describe you how you can enable file streams by using SQL Server Configuration Manager. So let's go ahead. So I'm enabling file streams on my SQL Server instance. So in order to do that, you need to click on the start menu navigate to all programs and SQL Server. So let's try to look at SQL Server. So SQL Server 2022 is the default instance of SQL Server installed on this machine. So I'm configuring that. So under that we have configuration manager, SQL Server configuration manager. Let's open that tool. Let's click on yes. All right, so we get a list of services over here. The SQL Server services are listed over here. Right click the SQL Server service. So this one is for the default instance. This one is the named instance and uh, running server 2009, SQL Server version 2019. And this instance is running SQL Server version 2022 and this is the default instance of SQL Server running on our machine. So let's right click on the SQL Server service and uh, so on the left hand side you need to right click on the SQL Server services and click on open to open that on the right hand side. Now. In the SQL Server Configuration Manager snap in, look at the instance of the SQL Server on which you want to enable the file stream. So we want to enable file stream on the default instance of SQL Server. So I'm, I've selected that instance. Right click on that instance and go to the properties section for that particular instance. Now in the SQL Server properties dialog box, select the file stream tab. So here you will see the file stream tab to enable the file streaming. Now select the enable file stream for transact SQL access. You need to check that. So Apart from that, if you want to read and write file stream data from Windows, you need to select an additional option, which is enable file stream for file IO streaming access. This option we select basically to read and write file stream data from Windows as well. If this is unchecked, you, can, you will not be able to write any data via Windows on the file system. You cannot write any file stream data using Windows. If you want to use Windows to write file stream data, read and write file stream data, you need to enable this particular option. Now enter the name of the Windows share in the Windows share name box. 
so windows share name box under that we we see ms sql server as the share name so let's use this share name and if remote clients must access the file stream data that is stored on this share then you need to select this checkbox allow remote clients to have streaming access to file stream data in my case i'm not allowing any remote connections so whatever is there is installed on my single machine so i don't want any remote connection so from me these first two options and the window share name of ms sql server is okay now once you are done with your settings click on the apply button and in the sql server management studio after clicking on apply you can click on ok as well to close the dialog box so file streaming is now enabled on this default instance of sql server in the sql server management studio go ahead and click on new query to display the query editor and basically in this window you need to run a command we are executing the sp configure stored procedure and basically we are specifying the file stream access level to 2 we will talk about this access level later but yeah, i am setting access level to 2 and i am reconfiguring so that uh, this setting should take place uh, take effect immediately so that's why i have used the recon reconfigure keyword and basically i have used the sp configure stored procedure to configure this setting file stream access level i have set it to 2 now let's execute this command and after executing this command you need to restart the sql server service so right click on the server name here and you will get the option restart the sql server service from here as well so let's do a restart on the sql server service so you will get a prompt dialog box let's click on yes waiting for sql server service to st restart whether the sql server service is started you can check the sql server service so the default uh, instance service is running so yeah sql server is restarted from here and guys uh, we are done with this video so in today's video we have practically shown you how you can enable the file streaming in sql server using the sql server configuration manager and by going to the instance properties there is a file streaming tab through that tab you can enable the file streaming for transact sql access and uh, windows io access as well you can enable from here and you can define the window share name as well so this is how you enable the service after you enable the file streaming from here you come to the sql server management studio you execute a stored procedure to set the file stream access level to 2 and you basically run the reconfigure command to for this sec, uh, settings to take immediate effect we we run the reconfigure command so we are done with this video guys i hope you like this video uh, regarding how you can enable file stream in sql server instance guys i hope you like this video if you really like this video please click on the like button at the bottom of this video and if you are new to this channel or if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel please go ahead and do so there's a subscribe button below this video click on that subscribe button it will give you a bell icon click on that bell icon select all notifications to get notifications regarding all my future videos and guys uh, do post in your comments any feedback any requirement any questions any day-to-day -day experiences with SQL Server, you may let us know about the situations where my content has helped you somewhere in some way. Do post in your comments guys, we eagerly wait for your comments and would love to read the same. So do post in. And guys, if you have a good network of friends, please do share my videos with your friends. And there's a share button below this video through which you can share my videos on the any of the social media platforms. Please ask your friends to subscribe to my channel if they are working in the same domain. I thank you so much for your time on this video today and you have a wonderful day ahead guys. Thank you.